My name is Rocío, I come from Orange, Spain. And as Yves said, we, uh, we launched our Super Programadores, which is the name in Spanish. I think it was at the same time that uh, you did in the group, so I think it was in October 2014, more or less. So it's been almost three years of uh, Super Coder. Um, we, the group gives us the framework and each country adapts it in, in regarding their, um, their peculiarities, their realities, so we have a different approach than, than Poland and, and, and France. Um, what we do is four editions a year, more or less, uh, at the occasion of uh, the Safer Internet Day in February, uh, the Spanish or the European uh, Internet Day, which is the 17th of May, the European Code Week, which is in October, and in December, uh, coinciding with the COP, COP21 and 22 that had place in Paris and in Morocco. So more or less, we, we've had 12, 10, 10 uh, editions of uh, supercoders and in different countries, so more or less 30, 30 workshops. In these workshops, more than 1,000 families have joined us, so more or less 2,000 2, people. Uh, our specificities are, I think there are four. The first one we, we've mentioned before is that our supercoder is for the family. It's in couples, parents and kids coding together. Why did we do that? Well, first to, to, to reduce the digital gap between parents and kids. Uh, I think uh, parents think that kids know more about technology than they do, which is uh, true, but we want to close that gap and to create a space of trust between them regarding technology. So that's the first uh, thing. The second one is the, the topic uh, we code about, which is something regarding the safer internet uh, for all of us. So for example, we're going to, to see a video in, in the activities. The last one we did it uh, with uh, augmented reality. So they have to, to develop a blue balloon for the good things of the internet, a purple balloon for the bad things of the internet. So we were discussing about cyberbullying, sexting, grooming, and good things. So they had to, 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 separate, to, to split it in two parts. And it's a great occasion for parents and kids to talk about those things, that, that we, we, we are not used to talk about these kind of issues. And it's a great excuse for us. The third peculiarity is that we add or we join people with uh, or disabilities or young people in social risk. We've, uh, we've included people with uh, autism, with Asperger, which is uh, autism of high capabilities. We've uh, also added um, uh, kids, uh, refugees. In, in this case, Orange employees, Orange volunteers were coding with them. And in the last edition, we invited uh, girls, uh, gypsy girls with their mothers. So we tried to also uh, have diversity in our in our workshops, and the last uh, thing we do is our workshops are for free. We don't have to pay to come to the workshops, but we our ticket is to bring an old mobile phone. So we put all together our two goals in CSR, which is the recy recycling mobiles and and improving the environment and the the to promote a, a safer internet. Uh, internet for, for all of us. So we, we ask them to come with an old mobile to recycle it and to, 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 to be able to participate in the, in the, in the workshops. Um, I'm going to show you the, the video and then we'll, we'll talk a little bit more. I'm sorry it's in Spanish, but we have subtitled it in, in, in English. Maybe, yeah. hacer que las familias disfruten de la tecnología. Una de nuestras estrategias es la de fomentar el uso seguro y responsable de la tecnología y creemos que trayendo y juntando a los padres, a las madres con sus hijos y enseñándoles pues, todos los usos creativos que se pueden hacer de la tecnología es una manera de que vean todas las posibilidades que tiene la tecnología en sí. El videojuego consiste en que tenemos que intentar que el, el globo morado, que son las cosas malas de Internet, 
eh, lo, lo echemos para un lado y el globo azul, que son las cosas buenas de internet, lo echemos para otro y así nos enseñan qué es lo bueno y lo malo de internet. Me gusta venir a programar con mi padre. Parece una iniciativa bastante positiva y educativa para, para los niños y bueno, pues comentar un poquito también la campaña de reciclaje unido al, al fomento de, de todo lo que es la incorporación de la tecnología en su día a día. Pues a ver, yo tengo que enseñar a él y él a ver cómo enseña a mí. Yo vengo aquí a aprender porque él ya tiene robótica en el cole y me hablaba de Scratch y yo ni idea. Y bueno, me ha enseñado hoy a programar. Es positivo porque es una prueba también, ver qué nivel de compenetración tienes con tus hijos. Él me enseña a mí, pero yo sé un par de cosas. Y él es mucho más rápido. Aportan esa espontaneidad, esa imaginación, eh, no tienen miedo a hacer nada. Y los padres que vamos ahí con más cuidado de esto no lo toques, esto se rompe. Al final estamos aprendiendo con ellos a divertirnos. Lo estás pasando muy bien. Somos super programadores. Somos super programadoras. Somos super programadores. Somos super programadores. Somos super programadoras. Well, our workshops are on Saturday morning from 10 to 2 more or less with a little with a little pause. And, and as you see, when we finish the workshops, I think parents are more enthusiastic and more excited than, than kids that they are more used to it because they, you know, parents think that they are not, they are not able to, to code and, and at the end of the, of the workshop, they, th they see that they can, they have fun and it's the, the, the magic thing is that it's true that kids know more about technology than parents, but parents know more about life than kids. So the, the, the connection, is, 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 is great. And uh, when we finish, we always, I mean, parents say, well, and now, what else? What's next? I, I, I enjoyed it, but uh, what can I do? So our next step is to create um, a platform, a web page, where we can post activities to work together parents and family. Not only parents and kids, but the whole family. We have signed an agreement with uh, a foundation called the um, University of Parents in, in Spain. So we are going to, to post 10 activities, five activities for kids from eight to 12, and five activities for kids to 12 and more, to work all together. Two of them are in, in Scratch. Some others we use other technologies like Kahoot, like App Inventor. And the good thing is that the role of parent and kids disappear. The, the, the role is not the parent teaching the kid and the kid teaching the parent in technology, but the, but the different way of uh, approach and activity. They are going to work things like memory, creativity, solving problems, um, 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 pensamiento crítico, to the, the critical thinking of technology. So it's not only to work in technology, but to acquire some skills that they are um, that they are working in these in these areas. We will launch it in September, maybe October, and and we will tell you next year. So well, I think time is over. So if you have more questions, I think after after Alain. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Rothio. Alain from Orange France. Uh, good morning. Yes, I work for Orange in France. France is one of the 40 countries where Orange is a telecom operator, and it's being the homeland of this uh, company. It's the largest in numbers, numbers of customers, staff, uh, revenue, and also probably super coders events. Uh, but as all the countries of Orange, we, we do have um, our main event about super coders during the EU Cut Week in October. Uh, we have big events all over the country. What we're trying to do now is to make things happen uh, about the code all throughout the year because we strongly believe it's one of our responsibilities to bring code to children to make them fitter for the digital society they live in 
a digital society, we have contributed very largely to Bill. So I'll try in this presentation to show you why we do it, which I started already to say, what we do with it, uh, and with who we do that, who are our coaches, and where we do it. So uh, every edition of Supercoders, it's this like this, uh, is a token of our commitment to help children from 9 to 13. This is our range. We don't go further. We don't go before that. Uh, to, tell, to teach them the opportunities offered by a language like Scratch, but also the robot's interface. During the last edition, in November 2016, it was 29 workshops, allowing about 3,000 children to come closer to the digital expertise, which is exactly what we want. So, next slide. Yes, uh, what, do we t what do we teach, what do we use? Well, of course, it's Scratch. It's always been at the base of our workshops, but no need to tell you what Scratch is all about, which is something I have to tell uh, in front of an audience who has never heard of Scratch, apart from knowing it as, as a nasty noise. No, Scratch is this fantastic tool that you all came to Bordeaux for. Next slide. Um, the children, whatever their background, you'll see, like what my colleagues have shown, that we, we have children who come from very privileged areas or for very underprivileged areas. They all love Scratch because um, they uh, love to imagine things and to make little cartoons just by assembling logical bricks which allow real characters come to life. That's the uh, magical thing about this language, which we all know is one of its key advantages. There are other tools, yes, but we keep using Scratch as a basis. Last year, in 2016, we uh, introduced Themeo in our workshops. Uh, it's an educational robot. You probably have heard of it. Um, children learn to drive this robot. Full, it's full of sensors. It can do anything you want. Uh, using two languages, VPL, which is a visual interface developed by EPFL, but also with Scratch for the robots, Scratch for Themeo, which, next slide, which is fantastic because it shows, it, be, it, became, it becomes obvious for the children that there is a link, a direct link between programming and the basic rules of the robot's world. It's so exciting. It means a lot to them because the robots are fantastic for any child. So, uh, who are our teachers? We call them coaches. Uh, they're all, or practically all, members of our staff. Uh, it's a volunteering program. It's, uh, it, it means a lot for us because it helps people in our IT de department, for instance, to go back to code themselves. It's one of our programs. We call it, we've called it new skills, but in fact, it's back to code for them as well. IT people have been very far from code for decades. They have been in the habit of subcontracting sub it to um, different companies. Now we want them to become more agile, which means being, being closer to the code. And uh, it's very interesting to, to see how they can cope with it compared to what children have nine or ten years old are able to. Um, it's been t about 1,200 orange staff that have already have been involved in that program. They all have been trained internally using tools made by Magic Makers. I saw that there was a gentleman from Magic Makers this morning too. Uh, we have different versions, long or short, of the workshops. Some of them last for only two hours. It's a very close it's a, it's a very short look at the uh, techniques. And there's a longer version that takes up to one week with, with programming every day. Um, we, uh, we have also the pleasure, next slide please, to, uh, to have volunteers coming from engineering schools. Interesting how they, the, their students who are close to be engineers themselves like to go and teach the code to children it's a, it's, it's a very lively experience as well. So, um, 
now that we've said that, in France, we, we have the uh, national educational public system, which is a gigantic thing. We call it the mammoth. It's, it's got a million workers, a million teachers working for it, so about. Um, they uh, decided to integrate code in the, uh, the general teaching program about uh, last year, it started last year, using Scratch as a basis. So we couldn't go, go on uh, showing what Scratch is about to children because they already know what Scratch is all about. So we shifted it to teaching children, yes, but what programming is all about using Scratch and the robots and in areas where we where we should do more because they are very underprivileged areas. Even in France, you have children for whom uh, life is very difficult indeed. Their parents don't know French. They have no background with schooling of any kind. They come from very poor countries. So uh, we feel that we should do more than what the national education can do. So what do we do? We go into their schools. There's a priority education network of schools like that. And uh, we organize different sizes, different lengths of, uh, of workshops. And uh, it's become a complement to the official learning of code. And children always tell us that it's, it's nicer to do scratch with us because it's more playful than at school. Is it true or is it just because it's out, uh, outside of school or not with their usual teachers? I'll never know. But they love the robots. They love uh, doing scratch with us. And their teachers keep telling us, if only we could have them as interested as you have them every day, it would be fantastic. Next slide. Uh, we, we heard the, the, the first presentation in the plenary session was about Ada Lovelace, which I had never known. Uh, heard before. Uh, so we saw that parity was a challenge and we try and have as many girls as, as boys. We're not quite yet to 40% but we're close to 40% girls. It's not bad. We try to have as many girls in our coach teams as well because it's important. I've noticed that girls are about as enthusiastic, as gifted uh, as any boy I've met. It's just that they don't have the idea of going to learn code. And to finish, this, just as a joke, we uh, certainly are working in, a, in, a, in a, something that is interesting for our politicians, because if you know our politicians, this is Mr. Le Maire, our new economy minister. He's looking at one of our super coder working on Scratch during a high-tech event. Next slide. You'll see uh, Madame Hidalgo, the mayor of Paris, same thing. They all came to see the, the gigantic supercoder workshop that we had organized at uh, a very big uh, high-tech startup event in Paris called VivaTech. So as a conclusion, we certainly are something that means a lot to children. Let's keep doing it. It's good, and thank you for your attention. Thank you, Alain. Thank you. I think we we have two minutes for for some questions. 